Hi, my name is Lynn and I'm from Pitman Training and I'm here to teach you how you can use your keyboard effectively both at home and at work. Today we are here to show you how to type currency symbols when they are not shown on your keyboard. You may need to type a euro or have dealings with a company in Japan and want to type the symbol for a yen. To give your documents a professional edge, you need to use the right currency symbol. And to do this, you can either use a combination of keys in conjunction with the number row at the top of your keyboard, or you can use the ALT key in conjunction with a series of numbers using the numeric keypad. We'll look at both methods and then it's up to you to decide. If you are in the middle of typing text and need to insert an amount in euros, you will find it easier to use the number row. To do this, ensure your cursor is at the point where the symbol is to appear. Then hold down the Control and Alt keys which you will find in the bottom left of your keyboard and then press the number 4 in the number row. Alternatively, when working with figures, you may want to use the numeric keypad in order to insert a euro symbol. Turn on the numlock key you will see a light appear to show that this is on. Then hold down the ALT key next to the spacebar on your keyboard and type the numbers 0, 1, 2, 8. The euro should then appear on your screen. Let's stay with the number pad, but this time enter the currency symbol for the Japanese yen. Hold down the ALT key and then type the numbers 0, 1, 6, 5. Release the ALT key and the yen symbol will appear on screen. So as you can see, when using this method, you will need to remember the series of numbers to type. Using the ALT key can be invaluable as it enables you to type a vast array of different currency symbols. There are many different shortcuts you can learn using a computer keyboard, but the most time-saving of these is learning to type correctly. You can learn to type at a Pitman Training Centre near you 